Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So, in this video, I'm going to try playing through Star Trek. Now, this game came out to accompany the new movies, probably around 2012, possibly, maybe a bit later than that. I have only played it briefly about five years ago, but I thought I'd fire it up and give it another go. Thought, why not play a playthrough? Now, this game's kind of been largely forgotten about, to be honest. No one ever talks about it, but it's not bad. And I've only got slight memories of it, so anyway, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna do it on medium, because I don't have much experience playing this game. It's a third-person view game. Ah, right, okay. Who are we gonna be? Well, I'll have to pick Kirk, won't I? Choose game type. Oh, I didn't know you could do it like that. Oh, we'll just do offline, because I'm not sure if anyone's playing this, to be honest. Ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Mm, right. Don't give them an inch. Cool. Who are we fighting against? Ooh, graphics aren't too bad, actually. I'm running this on the highest possible settings. Ooh. I don't even know who we're shooting at here. Oh. Hmm. Is this some kind of simulation, perhaps? Maybe not. Looks like Mortal Kombat. Why am I getting Mortal Kombat vibes here? <laughs> Interesting. It is your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Eight hours earlier. Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. It sounds like the actual actors doing the voices as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like you cheated there, perhaps. Okay, so. Ah, oh, cool. So we're on a ship, obviously. And there's a planet out there. What are the controls? Ah, yeah. Here we go. Did you try reversing the phase oscillation? That's the hey, is that a cone head? I'm stumped, Captain. Chief. That's a cone head, isn't it? Remember the I movie? Just got the results of those scans. Good work, Ensign. Commander. Oh, here's the bridge. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They're operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle and meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. 
This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant O'Hara, any response to our hails? None, sir. No? Well, looks like I'm going. Okay. So we need to go to the shuttle bay. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good, Captain. You come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. How did Scotty get down to the shuttle bay before we did? We were both on the bridge, weren't we? Okay. Um... So I'm assuming we have to get to one of the shuttles. This our shuttle? Yep. Enterprise shuttle confirming approach at five by six. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. Now they're picking up high levels of radiation hmm. from two binary stars. The whole space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Now that shuttle that we just saw looks a lot like the one from Star Trek Nemesis that the Enterprise E had. Yeah, there it is. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. I know. Interesting. Maybe an older version, perhaps? Oh. What's that? Like an alien ship or something? Hey, there's someone there. It's all the same with you. I don't think I will go that way. We're afraid you were going to miss, Captain. Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Hmm. Alternate way, alternate way. Oh, there we go. We can jump, can't we? That's helpful. So I kind of gather that this is a bit like a tutorial level, where it's teaching you the controls. Captain, we're picking up some strange readings. There appears to be some sort of problem. We kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. We'll just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. Let's use the tricorder. Hey, Ashley worked. Mm. I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Right. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for a situation. How do we do this then? Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Good point. 
with fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I don't know how to I do this. Putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spark, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. Oh, rats. Um. No, I really don't get this. Whoops. Do we have to do that? Oh, we don't. Do we? Have I just broken the uh, station? Probably. The door is locked. The door is locked. Yes, Mr. Spock, you do that. Yes, I knew there was a reason to bring Spock along. So we got to do a bit of a uh, tomb raidering here. Hey Spock, you look like you need a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. <laughs> Why do I find this funny? Hmm. Is that arm trying to point me to go up? What do you think? It's like up, oh, up. Oh. How do I disable it? I can't go down there, obviously. Can I go through here? Nope. Can I go through here? Oh, this looks like fun. Captain, the anomaly and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Hey, Spock, you look like you need a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. Yes, but. Ah, here we go. Weapons. Can I shoot the thing? Oops, <laughs> no, we shot Spock. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Oh, here he comes. The anomaly and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Oh, okay. So there's two settings for the phaser. You know, I probably should have disabled that one for him as well, but... Oh well. So, we need to go back to the command center. Wow, this is very Tomb Raider-y. Sesame? Oh. oh, right, okay. Got to both do it. Teamwork! Mm, that doesn't sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Ah, oh, we'll just crouch. And we're through. There's a fire. 
Hey, I think we're in the command center. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Do the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? <laughs> try to live long and prosper. See, Vulcans do have a sense of humour. We should engage mag boots now, sir. I hope they're also. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. He's gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Whoa. Go now. Uh. Uh oh. Crouch. Take cover. Oh good, he made it. <laughs> so, where next? Guessing here, yep. Wow. Exposure our suits can handle. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. Oh man, this does not look good. Assuming that's the door over there. Come on, Spot. There we go. Phew. in a circle. Spock, you think we can just shoot it open? Alright. Another one down. Just one more ring to go. Uh 
Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Have I just passed the control thing? Where is it? Uh, I'm not sure where the control is. It's hidden, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Is it moving around by any chance? And... Now would be a good time to shoot the locking mechanism. But I don't know where it is. It's moving again. Where is it? When the ring is stopped, that break is exposed. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. We need a way to permanently stop the rings. Yeah, I got that, but perhaps a phaser blast would release the mechanism. Yeah. One of us has to stop it to expose the ring. I've stopped the ring. Phew. Spock, shoot the lock. Damn, it's moving again. Spock, you think we can just shoot it open? Okay. This is not easy. We're through the core. Let's find that stranded crew. Oh, no. I saw that coming. Right. Oh, cool. You can tell him to do it. We may be able to open those vents. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a run now. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whew. Okay, let's go. Right. Run, run, run. Like your life depends on it. and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. 
don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, the captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual lock, Captain. Okay. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. <laughs> Prepare to energize. Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, man! That was pretty dramatic. The station's not going to hold. We gotta get back to the shuttle. Run! Outrun the destruction. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Keep moving. I do not think this station is salvageable, Captain. Oh, you think so? There is no time to stop. Call of Duty moment there. Wow. Oh, so that was just the uh, introduction, I think. Well, I think I'll end it there. Uh, this is part one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part two. Bye for now.